All right, tonight, um, Gwen Kosinski is, um, is one of my business partners, and most of you have met Gwen. And one of Gwen's um, zones of genius is um, helping people identify what their blocks are and helping them see their strengths, right? And so I just, um, I'll share with you more um, in a little bit my story with um, the path of just self-development through this process. And um, so I just think that Gwen brings so much positivity and, and brings out the best in whoever she's working with. And so that's why I invited her to share on the topic of um, self-awareness in our doTERRA business and how that impacts us. And so I'm really excited with um, the Tulsi and DDR Prime that she asked us to have. And she also said basil or rosemary. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to you, Gwen. I'm definitely ready to um, apply oils and get into it. Yay, hi campers. Yeah. I'm kind of digging this. I look like I'm heavenly. So yeah. let's all have a good laugh. Those who know <laughs> that that's full of crap. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is actually a pretty big passion of mine. So I'm really honored to talk about it tonight. Um, so my goal tonight is to kind of help us connect and reconnect to um, why we're here. Like, why do you take the time out of your day to be here? And as we come into harvest season, why is that important? And what are the things that might be making you feel heavy or be a quote unquote obstacle on how to get there? And what are we going to do to get ourselves to the full harvest season? So this is kind of where we're going to head tonight. So that's my three goals for the night. So, so if you have... If you have Tulsi, which, okay, can I get a hi, man, for freaking Tulsi? So because Tulsi is in the basil family, guess what? Basil works too. But Tulsi or basil, either one of them, the reason I want to bring it in right now is it's the oil, oil of renewal, right? And so we are heading into basil specifically. There's not a ton out. We're just learning more about Tulsi. But Tulsi is really good for us who are feeling a bit um, overwhelmed or distressed, right? And also amazing for that. So I'm going to invite you to put, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to scare Brad, right? But put, put a little basil around or Tulsi around your navel, right? So the reason we're doing this is because sometimes when we get super excited about going into the harvest season, right? Because we know October, November, and December are the highest sales season for doTERRA. So it's like super exciting. And then it's like, huh, oh my God, how am I going to do all this? How am I going to maximize it? Right? All these things. So the positive is that the goal is that we feel renewed and energizes and rejuvenated and ready to rock it, right? So you can put it over your, around your navel. You can also put it on, right, on your lower back, on your adrenal glands. I like around the nasal, but Tulsi, come on, it's like a big, it's, I have to admit, it might be my new Frank friend. Like, don't tell Frank, but frankincense might have a, a, a second, like, second in line for my boyfriend, and that'd be Tulsi. So with that, I wanted to ask a few questions. And so I'd love to have you unmute if this um, for yourself tonight. But now that we know this, so we are ready. We are ready to go. So who was pretty psyched after watching convention, right? Heck yeah. Not the same as being together, but still amazing. And so who comes out after every convention, all these kick butt new products and the wellness programs, who's like, I'm going to do it all. Okay, who's going to do it all? Give me a, I'm going to do it all. All right. Awesome. I love it. So that is awesome. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm going to do it all. How am I going to do it all? <laughs> so a couple of things. I want you to take a second. So if you have tea tree around you too, breathe it in, right? Tea tree is like tucked in my bra along with adaptive right now because it's so good for clearing away the fog. Melissa's another one, clear away the fog. 
but I want you to get back because when we get excited to do things, and when we get excited about accomplishing things, it requires a different level of awareness of ourself in order to make this happen. And this is why I want you to think about this. So I had to bring up self-awareness because when we want to do it all, the obstacles that most often get in our way are one, logistics and all those other things, but then also ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Who threw up in their mouth a little bit? Yeah, uh -huh. that's what we do to ourselves. So let's take a quick second. Let's talk a little bit, and I'm just going to read this really simple description on what is self-awareness. Ready? Self-awareness, according to Webster's Dictionary, is conscious knowledge, right, of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires, right? And then you go, well, what the heck does that actually mean, right? What does it actually mean? is it's the ability to focus on yourself and to how your actions and thoughts or emotions do or don't align with your direction, okay? So when you start realizing it and putting it into that tangible side, it's a little more easy. So I want you to think, and now this is where I gotta get out your paper, right? So I want you to go, why did you show up to this call? Why did you get excited about after a convention and when, why did you raise your hand if you said, I'm going to do it all, right? So literally, this is a writing. This is not me lecturing. I really want you to remind yourself, why did you do it all? Write it down, right? Because the truth is in being honest with ourselves and acknowledging, and we can be really beautiful. Like for me, my desire is to see shifts in people, to empower people to be their best version of themselves. But I also like a paycheck. I like a big fat paycheck, okay? So write it down, why are you here? Why are you here? And if you're like, oh, I already know, please write it down. If you don't have paper, write it on the desk, right? Because there's a huge connection between writing it down and actually having it imprinted in your memory and having it, that is a literal, there's studies that show the significance of writing or typing, right? And how it affects our mind. Right? So I would love, when you know, I'd love two people to unmute themselves and give me 60 seconds of why you're doing it. And I'm going to be the time Nazi tonight. And I'm actually going to say thank you very much. And that's enough. So be brave. Who wants to tell me why? What self awareness? Why are you on this call? Why are you psyched to do it all going into harvest season? Go, Lizzie. Um, so, um, so after convention, um, it was quite an emotional week and um, I just realized that I'd really been holding back when it came to the business. Mm -hmm. So um, I just made the decision that I wasn't going to do that anymore and everything that I'm doing, I'm just trying to throw as much into as possible um, and not be scared how did that make you feel when you made that realization um it, well it made things a little easier because i stopped holding myself back mm. Mm. holy that just defines self-awareness love it okay awesome thank you anyone else want to share their why why are you on this call why do you want to do it all going into the harvest thanks lizzie Well, I'm on this call because um, I'm inspired by all of you and I want to surround myself with people like you and I want to be that for other people. So that's why I share. That's why I say yes. I want time for financial freedom. I want to help others grow and feel well, like what I'm trying to do because it's all a process. And I thrive off the feedback of when I do help others and when they, when they get that feedback to me, it just fills me up. Amazing. Thank you. And Brandy, write that down that you just, that is super self-aware to be able to be that articulate that you shared all the reasons, but in the end, that feedback loop is important to you. That's going to be powerful in moving forward in your business. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you for reaching, for speaking out. So this why thing, right? 
we talk about it all the time, but the truth, my friends, is, is that sometimes we forget. And when do we forget? We forget when we're overwhelmed, right? Who might be feeling a little overwhelmed? Let's just call the elephant in the room, right? COVID numbers changing, kids at home doing school, family members who might not, who might be challenged, financial challenges, if this isn't your, if this is currently your side hustle, right? Whatever it might be, right? We got to acknowledge what the obstacles are, right? Because it's so great to have a why it's pretty and sparkly and it makes us feel good. But the truth is we need the grit to get, walk over, jump over, do a freaking cartwheel over or tiptoe over the obstacles. So write your obstacles down right now right? I'll share my obstacles. My kids are home. My husband is working way more because business is good during COVID, but that means I've got more on my plate. And I'll be honest, I'm freaking overwhelmed. That's a big obstacle. Hence, Tulsi and Basil are my best friend right now. So write down your obstacles, right? So as you're writing, I have now started my new tool in my toolkit. I started that actually when COVID started is I started a parking lot, right? What's a parking lot for it? That's where you go to put things while you go do something else and you come back to it and it takes to your your, you to your next destination. Every single morning, I make myself a parking lot. Oh, shoot, I forgot to get an orthodontics appointment. Oh, crap, uh, David's working all night tonight and I have to, I'm on for this. Every single morning, make yourself a parking lot for the obstacles, because guess what? They'll wait. The bills are still going to be there. All that stuff's going to be there. Make a parking lot. I literally have a space on my whiteboard for my parking lot now. It is like the most liberating thing. You can even put it next to your, your if you have a to date to do list, write down that to do list and even change it. Instead of to do, put parking lot. So during those times when you are making your destination toward the harvest of October, November, December for the biggest months in doTERRA, decide what things can stay in the parking lot and what things need to move on. So tell me what's in your parking lot right now. Two people, unmute, 60 seconds a person. I want to hear what's in your parking lot that's overwhelming the crud out of you. Come on, Jenny. Tell me, your, I know what's in your parking lot, woman. Oh God. I mean, my parking lot, it's like a parking structure, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, but truly, I mean, that's, the, that's something that I do do on a daily day basis is I do at the bottom of my planner when I have that time blocked out to be with my family. I've created, and, and maybe I will change it to my parking lot. Um, it's where I do like, it's like the, make the wellness appointments, get the paperwork into school, remember to email the teacher, remember to, and so as I do have time, like maybe a moment or two of, you know, free time or whatever, I can go through and check those off. And then they don't get done that day, then they can roll over the next day. And they just like, you know, that's why I take, I do take that time in the morning. I do my reading, you know, I've been doing my journaling, but then it's like, I have like what a couple minutes and just like, what are the things that I'm missing? Because if I don't have that time to actually process it, um, and they just choke me up all day long. So just getting them on paper and getting them in a, in a parking lot um, yeah. can be really helpful because then you just get to check them off as you get, you know, get to them when you have that like five minutes, you know, making lunch cool. or something, you know, so. So Jenny, I'm going to put you on the spot one other time. Would you mind, what is your rank in doTERRA? Uh, diamond. Mm -hmm. And so how many people of you who think that diamond doesn't feel overwhelmed and have obstacles? How many of you are like, oh, she's got it together. She doesn't actually have at right brandy. Yep. She's actually just sailing down, mm -hmm, riding the stream, doing her thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have obstacles. I think is choking um, on this because she, she, she meets with me and we talk almost every day and knows what a, I just got this card. I think I just sent it to Gwen. And if anybody's offended by swear words, I apologize. But my girlfriend just sent this to me from Colorado. Remember, your parents were a shit show too. And you turned out to be. Wait, remember, your parents were shit shows too. And you turned out just fine. So for all my garage parking spots. There you go. Right? 
So, so sometimes when we feel overwhelmed and that parking lot looks massive, and then we do that little game, right, where you're like, oh, Christy and Jenny are diamonds, and they're just sailing around. They're, they're, their parking lot's probably an ice skating rink, so they just slide on through, sail on through, do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, maybe do a little tour jeté, and maybe whatever, right, do a, one of the camels, and then I'm just here barely able to put my feet on, no right? So we all have obstacles, doesn't matter what. And so let that be peaceful. Let that feel safer to you. Thanks, Jenny. I appreciate it. Anybody else want to quick share their obstacles? Katrea, I'd love to hear them. My obstacles are the opposite of all you moms. Um, my obstacle is that I have to be, um, I say to myself, like, oh my gosh, every, all these moms, they're so overwhelmed. I can't contact them. They're like at their wits end. Oh my gosh. When I should be saying, oh my gosh, these moms are at their wits end. They're like so overwhelmed. I need to step up and help them, right? Um, but I, 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 I'm one of those people that I don't have kids. So I'm in a different space, but I'm aware of all the people out there that do have kids. And so sometimes that's a block for me because I'll be like, I'm not calling her. God, she's in such a mess. Like, mm. oh, she doesn't want to talk to me. But maybe that's the time that she needs to talk to me most, right? Heck yeah. Good. That's amazing self-awareness, Petrea. Really, that's really cool. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. Okay, who else doesn't have kids that require everyday momentary check-ins and maybe feel that way a little bit? Brad, Sandra. Yeah, mm hmm right? Although Maria's hiding off in the corner. Maria, no hiding. Nobody puts baby in a corner. I see you, girl. All right, so, so I ask you to do this because, so when we reconnect to our why, it's exciting, but we have to acknowledge that just like any goal, there are always going to be obstacles. And so if we see the parking lot, we know and acknowledge it, we now know, okay, so that's there but I can still do what I wanna do because that parking lot, some things don't need, hey, just like at the airport, maybe it's one hour parking, maybe it's overnight parking, maybe it's seven day parking you get to pick, okay? So as you think about that parking lot, know that sometimes the things you park there, like Jenny said, like they'll, they'll wait, they will work, it's all good. So now as you go forward, think of when you went to school. Right? How many loved the idea of going to school and getting a new pair of jeans with a roller skate stitched on the back pocket and a new pencil case, right? So my mom really wonderfully reminded me today that when I send my kids off to school every day, I say, hey, be kind, work hard, make good choices. So I'm going to ask you to make good choices right now. And I want you to actually look at your tool chest. What is in your pencil case going into harvest? Sit down right now and write down what's in your tool case or your, or your pencil case to go forward. Do you have a highlighter? What's a highlighter? Do you have someone helping you on your path, right? Do you have the oils you need? Do, have you, this is the big one for me. Have I actually sat down with my calendar and found the spaces that are available for me so that I cannot have any distractions? All the stuff's in the parking lot. Have you taken the time to write down? Who is your support structure? So I'm just rambling. You start writing, y'all. Just listen to my big mouth and you guys have fun. Write your stuff. What's in your tool chest? And as you're writing, are you missing a protractor? What's your protractor, right? Is your protractor like, holy cow, I really realize I need someone who's going to look out for me and remind me to make good choices. Do you have an accountability partner? Talk to your upline, get one. Or talk to one of the people on this call. They might need an accountability buddy, right? So what's in your tool chest? What things matter? Tool chest, pencil case, whatever it matters, right? Because when you understand your why and you know the obstacles are there, have you gotten the tools or the things in your pencil case, your protractor to help you go forward? In my house, one of the things that constantly gets put into my parking lot is I don't have time to do some of the other things. Do you need to hire a babysitter once in a while? Do you need 
to ask for that person to remind you to do this thing with love, accountability buddies, right? What are some other things? For me, it's that I need someone to remind me, you ready for this? To take care of myself, to put on my own damn oxygen mask because I'm a super powerful creator, just like you are. But if I am too darn busy to taking care of everyone else and not putting things in the parking lot, there's no way I can use that 90 minute jam session that I have available in my day to be successful. What's your protractor? What's missing in your pencil case? Unmute yourself, two people, let me know. I wanna hear what's in, what you're missing. One of the things for me I had to do is I had to sit down with my family and say, it's harvest season. So what I need from you, what I don't have is I need someone else to once in a while make a meal. I have teenagers, come on y'all. So do I eat mac and cheese sometimes? Yeah, do I love it? No, did I cook it? No, nope. is my family fed? Yes. Who else has got a missing pro? What's your protractor that's missing? Or what is, what is there that you know you need that makes your pencil case full? Christy? I'll share okay. what's in my toolkit. It's what I, it's what I have already. So I feel blessed. It's not something that's missing. Um, but delegating and getting help um, is something that um, is big time for me okay. because if I'm great at something and I struggle with other things, why I keep struggling? Mm -hmm. Just asking for help. Other people want to awesome. help and they need the work. Um, so that's been a big awesome. in my tool. Cool. Awesome. Um, yep. And so, right. And different people's pencil cases are going to look different, right? We know the basics. The back to basics program is there to help us share and have fun and take the guesswork out of it. So we know what we need. So if you don't know that, connect with your upline to make sure you have that. But if you're like realizing, oh, I don't know what I'm missing. That's the best part. Ask the question. Anybody else have something, a protractor that they found they were missing or that they put in their case? Go get your app. Um, I, I have a ruler, which is Jenny. She keeps me on track. She's my ruler. And uh, I've got a trapper keeper, which is all of you. You guys kind of keep it all together. You're like the bundle of all the stuff. Um, I've got uh, great highlighters in sideline and upline support. Um, I'm missing the hallway in between the classes to Ooh. meet new friends. So today with my ruler, um, we talked about some ideas on how I can find some people in the hallways. So um, that was Brilliant. missing in my toolkit. Okay, Petraea, I'm gonna ask if you would be willing on, our, um, on the Thrive page, I freaking love that. Will you put in your pencil case? It doesn't have to be pretty. I know you're gonna make a graphic. You don't have to make it. I won't. Just make it pretty, right? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Glad we have four more minutes. So I was going to ask that people share on the group as well on our builder group um, what their tool kit is, right? Whether it's whether it's something that you're missing or whether it's something that you recognize that you have right now, right? Like Petraea's was a mix of what she's got and what she's missing. Love it. Yep. So I just want to, to, so to round it out, as we go into harvest season, it's that write it down, put it somewhere you see it all the time, that self-awareness, because sometimes we get muddled down, we get stuck in the, in the quagmire that can be like everyday life, right? This is where by having it visible, I actually have a little card on my mirror in the bathroom while I'm brushing my teeth. I get to remind my why and get reminded. Of, and then I, you know, have my reminder in my daily calendar of my obstacles and my parking lot space. And then now you've written down once again, what's in your pencil case. We're going to get more ideas, but in the end, right? Self-awareness is paired with grit is like the most powerful thing because then we can do the thing we want to do, which is share all this excitement and this energy and this desire to make the world a better place. And grit, it's just courage. It's, it's pluck, it's spirit, it's the backbone. And y'all have it in you. And so if you and I just do what we can to remind ourselves to use it, for me, that is when I break out Rosemary or DDR Prime right? So rosemary is actually the oil of knowledge and transition. 
right? And DDR Prime is for transformation. Put it on the back of your neck. And you can look it up if you have this amazing book, right? In Essential Emotions. But why I love it, that Rosemary assists in the development of true knowledge and intellect. But more importantly, it helps us to trust in a higher power that helps us feel confident and assured during times of change. And right now, we're in harvest. Let's have fun. Let's work hard. Let's be kind. And let's make good choices. So that is where self-awareness is powerful because having your self-awareness allows you to dig in and feel the grit that will allow you to do that because you can. So be kind to yourself, work hard, make good choices. Aw, I love that one. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just feel like I got a big hug. Um, Sweet. Could I share one toolbox item? Mm -hmm. I'm working with a spiritual coach that talks about uh, success comes from a vibration of gratitude. And recently started writing down my, my five gratitudes in, in my journal every night and starting with I'm so happy and grateful and including my goal for the month. And I just did it, a, started it a few days ago and um, uh, I think three days ago somebody enrolled themselves that I that came to the, the oils class in June or, or and last night somebody texted me that's been in my downline I think for two years and never made an order and asked whether it was okay if she you know would it still work that she made an if she made an order and um, so that's kind of cool <laughs> so cool that's so awesome that's like that is the um, that's like my number one tool I come back to is the um, is the gratitude journal, Brad? I'm with you. I'm with you. So it is time for us to end, and I have so many announcements. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just share them on our um, builders group because I have a, a lot of um, updates for you guys for October. Um, some pretty exciting things. So we'll just start with tomorrow night. Um, Simone is the um, U.S. Director of Sales, and he's going to be doing um, a Zoom for our, our accountability group, my accountability group um, teams. And so that's going to be awesome. It's going to be focusing on um, how to get the most out of the wellness kits. Um, and uh, another announcement is that our October continuing ed is going to be different than normal continuing ed. It's gonna be all focused around the wellness kits. And so that's super exciting. So this Saturday will be focused on um, wellness kit relief, right? So similar to the pain class, but all focused around the, the wellness kit. Um, and I want to honor our time. So I'm not going to get uh, into all of it, but just keep your eyes open on our builders page and I will be sharing some announcements there. So have an awesome night, you guys. Thank you so much, Gwen. We all got big group hugs from this call. So. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Be well, y'all. Thank you.